Hi, Sam here for LickLibrary.com. Welcome to this video on why John Petrucci is a modern day guitar hero. Let's dive in. So John Petrucci is a well-known modern progressive metal musician. He has inspired countless guitarists and he has really changed the way guitarists practice in the rock and metal styles. First of all, it's important to understand where John Petrucci came from. He came from being inspired by people like Rush, listening to Alex Lifeson's work right there. He was also heavily inspired by bands like Metallica and some of the thrash movement in the 80s. And you can also hear lots of other artists. He's got a collective group of influences which you can hear in his playing. You can hear people like Steve Morse with his fast picking lines, Steve Howe. You can also hear Steve Vai and some of his phrasing as well. He really has a lot of these things that he has grouped into his own unique sound. Now, of course, there's lots of lead guitar and technical stuff we can talk about. However, one of the standout parts of John Petrucci's musicianship is his songwriting and his riff writing. He was using seven strings, he was using odd time signatures and odd patterns, and really using the fretboard and patterns on the neck in order to generate interesting riffs. For example, if we take a look at the guitar here, if I take, um, I'm making this up, I'm just going to say an F sharp minor scale. Just take those six notes. And then you could actually make a pattern of five eights by going like that. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. We could then do two fives and one pattern of seven. So we could have and then we end up with a cool cyclic riff. So very much taking these odd groupings, you'd hear groups like Yes, Rush, King Crimson doing these kind of odd groupings. But then John Petrucci took the Metallica, the more heavy metal element, and did this on seven strings. Did it with a different tone as well, more high gain tone uh, and a bit more kind of aggressive edge to some of these riffs as well. And would often mix this with interesting harmony. So rather than sticking on one note like some of the other metal bands of the time he would incorporate interesting chords underneath and also use different arpeggios in order to get different musical situations happening which didn't sound necessarily like your typical metal thing hence progressive metal <laughs> So right here I have John Petrucci's Rock Discipline. This is the tab book. I've had this for years using it in my own practice and it also had a video component as well. Now at the time music tuition for shred guitar metal was a little bit ropey. There was either lots of videos of people kind of just showing licks very fast and not explaining them or people who had very high levels of technique showing ideas, maybe playing them slowly, but not really explaining how to practice. Now, John Petrucci's Rock Discipline, as I just showed you there, had lots of exercises in, but he also talked about a methodical approach to practicing technique on the guitar, which hadn't been spoken about before. And I think a lot of people were able to finally be able to see how a professional metal guitarist might practice and develop their technique using things like speed development, using <coughs> Um, synchronization exercises, you know, like the chromatic ideas I just played there. He would talk about speed bursts as well with scale fragments. So if you had a, a scale fragment is maybe just a part of a, a scale and often he would be using three note per string scales. And a scale fragment might be just six notes. And with a fragment like that, John would also show us how he could practice building the speed uh, in two different ways. There was kind of ramping up the speed of the metronome, just adding a few beats per minute each time. So you might have... Then you might get a bit faster. With the metronome, of course, I've not got one set up here. 
but um, with the metronome developing speed incrementally. He'd also talk about speed bursts, which is like, like switching the transition of the subdivision. So something I might be able to demonstrate here is if I play this as triplet eighth notes, so it'd be one, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> We then go double time into 16th note triplets, so... And that way it really helped to synchronization, getting a good sense of subdivision. Something you hear in John Petrucci's guitar playing is how clean and in time his fast playing is. He's really on the ball with that stuff. So not only did John Petrucci teach players about the importance of practice and how to practice, he taught about how to warm up properly as well, looking after your hands, having a routine and caring for your playing in a way that hadn't been talked about to metal guitarists before. So John Petrucci really opened the door to that element of musicianship. <laughs> Aside from being an astounding musician, band member, songwriter, and of course, guitar technician, John Petrucci is a modern day guitar hero because of the legacy he has created with his playing, his music, and his tuition. If you listen to people like Animals as Leaders with Tosa Nabasi, Tosa Nabasi often cites John Petrucci as a big influence. The members of Periphery, Misha Mansour, will talk about how Dream Theatre was a big influence on his style of writing and how he took that into his own style and because of that we have lots of this modern progressive metal and you know taking influences from bands like Meshuggah and Dream Theater and mixing them into something very cool and very unique for this time. Between The Buried and Me, Jason Richardson and our very own Andy James have all been very inspired by John Petrucci's work and the inspiration keeps on going. Most of the modern guitar heroes you see nowadays in some way have been influenced by John Petrucci. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Do you think John Petrucci is a modern guitar day hero for some of the reasons that I've mentioned in this video? Have I missed something out? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let us know in the comments below. And if you'd like to get more free guitar lessons, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell button to be notified when we next upload. If you'd like to take your guitar playing to the next level, perhaps you want to learn some Dream Theatre songs, some John Petrucci phrases, maybe you want to learn about the techniques that he uses and maybe develop your own voice on the guitar, the Lick Library membership is the place for you. There's also individual learning paths which you can talk to with a tutor as part of the monthly membership. Be sure to check the description to find out more information. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.